Well, how have you been? Maggie Ravenswing here. Ravenswing Apothecary on Facebook. Maggie Ravenswing Dragon Oracle on Facebook. Here, Ravenswing Manor on YouTube. It is a lovely September 14th. Breezy out on the balcony. Hashtag balcony life. Uh, we've been having more of a heat wave lately going into fall. Um, we had some cool down, some preview of the fall weather. It was very lovely. Temps in the 50s in the morning, 60s up into 70s throughout the day. It was great. And let me show you this here. Um, ever since the 88 Lionsgate portal, the energy has been chaotic. There have been lots of schedule changes, changes in viewpoints. Um, it, just little changes around the edges for everyone. For everyone, uh, no matter what it is you're doing. Um, August is a time when school goes back in session, so you have the change of the schedule as far as this, when the kids go to sleep, when they get up, their routines and everything, and that's totally normal. But it can add a small chaos. Um, kind of like a windstorm out of the blue. Um, that's quite interesting. It looks like a hummingbird. Hang on here. Can you see that? The clouds. And speaking of hummingbirds, um, I have a hummingbird feeder out because I've had a little hummingbird visitor. I believe it's a female ruby-throated hummingbird. Very delightful. I haven't seen her in a couple days. I haven't really been watching as well. I don't know if she's started her trek back to wherever it is she goes and migrates. Um, I wish her well. A hummingbird is a, is a, a very intricate meaning for a totem uh, always in action always in flight always refueling um, small delicate so it kind of shows how small delicate movements and always doing something in action uh, just just keeps the flow going just keeps it going along and that's what we've been doing lately we've been just minor change here okay change change direction change change attitude change ways of working things out for the better um, I've done some transplanting of flowers lately uh, I have another one that I can transplant over there it's, it's all these little changes that just make the flow of life go along. Now, in this modern age, uh, sometimes that can be difficult to go with the flow with things because you have work, you have other schedules and things that are important. And that, that for parents, it's like, I get it. I'm a nana. I'm a grandma. So I, I know. I went through it, all the hectic changes and stuff with changing schedules and going to school and then you got to have this and you got to do this at this time and you don't get as much this time and, and it happens the same way with, with parents, with their kids going to school and it takes a little bit, it takes a few weeks to take that breath and go, okay, I can settle into the routine now and hopefully nothing else will come up. And so it's fall. 
I know it's not calendar-wise fall yet, but it's it's definitely out there. I can see the changes in the leaves, the subtle changes in some of the leaves and how they're changing colors. And it it just comes along. It, it doesn't happen all of a sudden. It, it comes along in its own slow pace and time. Things ripen, things are getting ready for the harvest. The, uh, the corn is browning up really nicely. Those farmers are gonna be out in the field within I'd say within a matter of a week or week to two weeks at least. Um, still greens here and there. So letting some of the plants here as it is their time die, the tomatoes, because they will add to the decoration for Halloween. Have some purple lights up here, you can see. My daughter did that. And in taking in the energy and working with the flow with the chaos, you have to also take that time to rest when you need it. It might be a few minutes here, a few minutes there, a few minutes on your balcony or even in the toilet, trust me. You stuck in line at Starbucks because for some reason something glitched up and the line's not moving. Breathe. It'll go eventually. Just put the key, put the car in in park and just sit there and wait. Take the stress off of it. And since the 88 portal, I have been stepping back from social media, things that I've been doing, um, parts of my life that I want to get back going, my projects and everything, such as doing videos. And it, it takes a little bit to not just get into the rhythm of the new schedule that you want to do and that you're trying to improve upon, but also to see where these little changes in your direction are guiding you to. Take the moment to step back and even personally because it's not just physical direction, it's, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's well-being, it's saying, okay, now we're having another change in life and I need to adjust my sales for it. So, you know, you can't just keep bulldozing on in the direction you were going if you have gone through changes. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if that one comes up for the little picture. So, we're going into... We are in almost the middle of September here. Oldest daughter's birthday is past. Youngest daughter's is coming up. And then it's mine and Thanksgiving. I can see changes happening around. Other people adjusting their sales and working through the chaos little by little making headway two steps forward one step back sometimes it happens it's okay it, it, it's okay honest so we try to make arrangements we try to keep to schedules we try to work along here and do what we can because that's what life is about. You can't stay stuck in one place all the time. It gets boring. It gets mucky and moldy and icky and you don't want that. Keep dreaming. Keep building. Stone after stone. Dream after dream. Adjust your sails. 
and move into the new moment. Because it's all for you. Maggie Ravenswing, blessings and peace in. I'll be seeing you again soon.